sign of great improvement by a natural score. What's up guys? So today we're going to be learning how to add emojis to your basketball um, videos. Uh, first we're going to do is have your video that you want to add it to obviously in your timeline. So right here I have this video and then you also have to have a emoji or emojis that you want to add. So for this one I'm going to add this grape emoji. I'm going to go full screen. I'm going to add this grape emoji to the video and I want to add it right here so using the m key i'm going to press m and i'm going to mark where i want to start and that's where i'll drag this emoji png to so now i have it here um, as you can see it's way too big so i'm going to go to scale all and transforms i'm going to bring that down and then in positions the x's and the y's i'm going to bring the x over so i can line it up bring up the y's and now as you can see the ball is completely covered by the emoji which is what we want and what we're going to do is add a keyframe this is really important so in positions you want to add a keyframe so you're going to press that right there you should see it light up it should be yellow and something we're going to do is change the opacity pretty low so about right there you want to be able to see the basketball through the emoji that way you know where you need to be moving it as we go frame by frame. So about right there is good. And again, make sure you have your keyframes on in positions. And then using the left and right arrow keys, we're gonna go uh, forward frame. So we're gonna be using the right. I'm just gonna go up a frame. You don't need to change it frame by frame. You can probably do it a couple times before you have to move it. So right there, as you can see, it's getting a little bit too high. So I'm going to go to the Y's. I'm going to bring it down a little bit to about right there. And I'm going to go forward a couple more frames. And then I'm going to uh, bring the Y's up a little bit more, as you can see, as the ball moves. And then I'm going to keep moving. So right there, it jumped a little bit. So I'm going to bring the Y's up. And I'm going to just continue to do this frame by frame, making sure the um, grape emoji is covering the ball at all times. And I'm going to fast forward, but I'm just continuing to do the same thing. I'm just making sure that it covers the whole thing. All right, so now I have it covered to about here, and I don't really want it going any farther than that, so I'm actually gonna use Command B on both of these to cut it. I'm gonna delete these two parts right here, because we don't need that. And I'm gonna go into the opacity, and I'm gonna bring that back up to 100, and look what we have here now. So it looks pretty cool, but I think I want to maybe add uh, a freeze frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to highlight both of these. And I'm going to double click. And I'm going to make a new compound clip like this. I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to go to the first frame. And again, we go frame by frame using the left and right arrow keys, right to go f uh, forward, left to go back. And right here, this is where the first frame is at. That shows the um, emoji. So when I get to that first frame, I'm going to go to edit up here. I'm going to put add freeze frame. And what that does is pretty much just takes a picture of that frame. And then it continues to go. That's obviously way too long. So I'm going to play around with it, make it a little bit shorter. And maybe this is looks better. And I think I'm going to make it just a little bit longer like this. Perfect. And right there, you can add like a ding sound effect, which you can probably look up on YouTube pretty easily and just put it underneath. 
And yeah, that's how you add emojis to uh, videos. Deep Mark got that he. Uh...